once you've got your rings prepped then you can install them onto your piston. So we want to install the oil spreader ring first of all. Making sure with the two ends of the oil spreader ring butt up is in the 6 o'clock position. Then you want to take the two thinner rings. Uh, these can go either way and fit one below and one above the oil spreader ring. And I like to fit one at the 10 o'clock position and one at the 2 o'clock position. Two o'clock, this one at ten o'clock position. You want to fit the second ring next, again making sure that the markings are on the top. Finally, the top ring, again, markings up, fit into the top groove, the piston. So now your piston is ready to drop into the block if you're using the same con rod. But we're now going to show you how to change the con rod to a billet con rod. Okay, to fit a billet con rod you need to snap out the piston circlip. Just on the one side, push the piston pin through, just enough to take the con rod out and that's your con rod removed. Uh, take your billet con rod con rod should be fitted with the oil thrower pointing downwards, piston with the dot on the bottom, oil thrower downwards, piston with dot on the bottom and you will be inserting them this way so it's a case of popping the con rod in like that, push the piston pin until it butts up against the circlip on this side and then it's a case of refitting piston pin circlip and uh, a little bit fiddly to do this but it's just a case of using your finger or your nail pop it in and then a pick just to make sure it locks in to the groove. And that's your piston fitted to the billet con rod. Uh, you then need to fit your billet con rod shells, uh, which is basically the bearing that will go under the crankshaft. These are easily just a press fit in. You see on the bottom section of the con rod there's a chamfer here and on the shell there's a tiny chamfer so that chamfer slots in against the slot and you can also see that the hole in the bearing lines up with the hole in the oil gallery it's just a case of pushing it in to seat it, making sure it's square and flush, and the same again, chamfer and chamfer, push in with your finger, square it up, 
see that. And then when it eventually is fitted and against the crankshaft, press in the right way, it'll bolt up like this. So if I bring the crankshaft over, we'll be dropping the piston down the barrel onto the crankshaft, fitting the other side and then fitting the two bolts, tightening them up inside the block.